Hello, this is Professor Homa, and I'm going to show you how to do a BAT real quick for your exercises with Pathfinders. Um, I'm going to start with a rectangle, and again, we're going to do one side of the BAT first, and then we'll do, do, we'll do one wing first, then we'll do the other side. So I'm going to draw kind of a long rectangle. I'm going to take my oval tool, or my ellipse tool, and I'm just going to do a couple of these, and I'll even color them white so I can see what they're going to look like when they cover up my shape. So I'm going to put white ovals over top of here, and I'm just going to option drag and make copies. There's one, and there's another one, and this is, this is what it's going to look like when we're done, but I'll draw another one on the top just to give a little, little bevel on top of that. Now this is coming out as black, but I'll stretch that out. I'll put it in default. Okay, so there we can kind of see the shape. It's just, and I haven't joined anything yet. I haven't cut out anything yet. Um, even if I want to have this kind of angular shape here, I could take a rectangle and rotate it a little bit and put this over here. You know, if that's too much, I could rotate it back a little bit. But all these shapes are kind of covering up here. And just by using these, these white colors, I could get a good idea of what it's going to look like. Even, even if I want to rotate this down to make the bat wing come up a little bit, I could do that. If I go into outline view, I can kind of see what I have. I have three circles, a rectangle, a large oval, and a, the main rectangle is underneath that I started with. I'll go back to preview. So obviously you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to do a minus front, and I'll go over and use my Pathfinder palette and I'll do a minus front and there's half of my bat wing and if I want to rotate a little bit I'll just go to the corner and rotate if I want to chop more off I could you know at any point I could just take another rectangle I'll put it in default color and if you wanted to shave off a little of this just angle that change my view here so if I wanted to angle that a little bit, I'll rotate it up just a little bit more. I could always shave more off of this, this edge to get it just the shape I need. And I'll just minus front again, second button. And there's half of my bat wing. Uh, to make my other half, just to review this, I'll select my shape. Um, I'll go over to my toolbar and select my reflect tool and double click and choose vertical axis 90 degrees and hit copy and there's my other half of the wing. I'll just drag this over. I can overlap it. Again, it doesn't matter what it's going to look like if it overlaps. So there's my two shapes together. I could align them uh, on, their, on their vertical center, so they're up and down, they're aligned. Okay, then I could join these. And I don't have to join them now, but I'll join them now using my Unite. And for the head, this almost like Batman looking head, I'll use my ellipse and just just make a little oval that overlaps I'll use a triangle by taking the polygon tool and I'll just draw a polygon if I hold down on my arrow tool you can see I can make a little triangle and I can even rotate it around if I hold shift it'll be a straight rectangle a straight triangle but if I don't I can kinda even angle it so I'm gonna take that triangle and make it really small I'll zoom in to what I'm doing here. Rotate it around. So there's there's my triangle or my little bat here. Again, I could over however I want to overlap that, I can put it here. I'll move my, my oval down a little bit. I'll put my little bat here. And then to make a, a reflected copy, just double click on my reflect tool, hit copy. There's my other ear. If I wanted to align these two ears together, just select one, hold shift, select the other, and I'll line up and down on their vertical center. And now when I'm ready, I can highlight all these shapes and hit the Unite on my Pathfinder. So that's, and I'll stretch it out a little bit. And there's my bat. I'll 